front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Hi folks, it's good to be back. So, we've got a game in G-Man 1, Slanesh Slaughterers. Um, so, Chaos, a uh, bunch of Claw, bunch of Mighty Blow, great Sacker, great Carrier, uh, fun Diving Tackle. I fired Positron Mike, which is sad because he did a lot of good for the team and some other teams. He was my dirty player for the longest time. And this time he had to go. So, um, 1950, which means we have money for a uh, bribe. Uh, we're facing um, chaos with strength, claw, uh, some injuries, a dirty player of their own. He has 12 players, I have 11. Yeah. Uh, his claw poem uh, is minus armor. So hopefully our dirty player gets to put the boot in there. Um, he's got a good carrier, not as good as mine. No agilities there. We'll see. All right, let's do this. Receiving first would be very, very nice in this matchup. It would be awesome. Yeah, chaos against chaos, murder. <clears throat> Toss could be vital, really. Especially with uh, one dirty player each and me having the bribe. Do I foul LOS fodder? Yeah, probably not. Hello, everyone. Yorick says hi to the stream too. That's nice. Everyone say hi Yorick. Ah, we won the toss. Good. So nice to just be able to press the control key. Uh, my laptop control function alt z and x keys are broken. So basically that whole corner. So when I play Blood Bowl on my laptop and I don't have a keyboard, I actually have to pull up a touch a, a, a screen based keyboard just to uh, <clears throat> just to be able to swap scenes basically I mean if they protect five I should still have something worth blitzing right like that guy that's worth blitzing I mean if he has this and that on the corner I suppose we'll see And maybe we don't foul turn one. That's fine too. <sighs> so yeah, 11 players on my end, but 12 on his is not the worst either. Don't have an expendable guard, which makes blitzing this a little bit problematic. It's a sturdy player. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, welcome both of you. So, if I stick a guard in here, then I can blitz that. If I had a, a, a guard or a block guard uh, beastman, I would. I don't think I want to stick one of those in there. I think I'll just stick with killing the dirty player. I mean, he only has one dirty player and he has four claw mighty blows, so. Uh, more opportunity cost there, so to say. Thanks, mate. 
Thank you, Rata. Appreciate the resub. Nice. Right, so we don't really want to foul here yet. We do want to screen off this and not let the dirty player. So something like that should work, yeah? Got the diagonal claw punches. Got the potential later blocks. Got the blitz. Got the screens. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nine months indeed. Another stream baby. Nice. All right, let's do this. Okay, so that's not great, but at least he's relatively far back. My main killer is not exposed. But it still hurts. I mean, far back doesn't matter. Everything can get in where it needs to go. I guess he probably lets his Corvain. We shall see. Oh, drop the cap. There we go. No. <laughs> Calf, you have a great beard. So he's actually went and stuck the strength five in there. Okay, let's see pushes, please. Nope. I used to have a dirty player, I guess. That's just a stun. Oh, tripping on the GFI. Lovely. So that's a reroll gone. This is strength four. Five. Two, three, four, five, six. I can't really reach that with the claw there. Uh, let's see. Good enough. So if we were to blitz that guy... We'd kind of want to GFI there. In which case, we'd also have to protect the ball a little bit. GFI's good. <laughs> 
that makes this a two die now. Good. Ghost Blush! Ah, damn it. Oh, that's all right. It's worse times for that. Sure, hands doing a thing. Sadly, we can't really step on that one because we'd give him an extra free punch with that. But two assists for that file is not bad. Turns out it is bad. That's that's not great. I uh, I expected more of you, Rata. Yeah, considering that was uh, two important, well, one important claw punch, one important dirty player foul, and some other punches. Yeah. <clears throat> Positron Mike left some big spiked uh, hooves to fill. And of course, this is a prime target for him because of my bribe. And having both of these unharmed and able to get up and in it really turns the initiative around. Insofar as the Blitz hadn't done so already. Very aggressive. Okay. Okay. Gets me. Fail. Fail. Fail! That's not how you fail. Can't happen by that, of course. So, first removal, despite me receiving, is actually one of my players, and, you know, slightly relevant one. My only Clopum. Yeah, and that really, really turns initiative around. That one turn where I got those hits really needed removals, because now his guard and strength are doing their thing. Okay, at least that's just a push. It means knocking him free is no longer an option, really. Mm. This feels like the the snowball might might happen in the wrong direction very soon. Just based on the kinds of opportunities this creates for him. could blitz that. Could blitz this. Getting this guy in there is pretty sweet. 
shit let's start it of course Going in there for the guard really sucks, but the alternatives kind of do too. Two, four, six, eight. No, this guy's also scary. All right. Good. He's going to stand firm. Just fine. And weak again. If we get in here, I'd rather have it be that guy. That's a one die. If it happens to be a knockdown, we're suddenly in a pretty happy place. Not that kind of knockdown, thank you. Oh, for crying out, fuck! Yeah, like I said, snowballing. Yeah, my turn of no removals led to him dominating, and now we are in deep, deep, deep shit. <sighs> yeah. His, uh, his strength advantage guard and, uh, most importantly, his initiative advantage with the Blitz. Um, combined with pretty bad dice. I mean, there's a reason I was happy to receive, and the Blitz pretty much flipped that around. Mm. The Blitz and the one big damage turn I had just not happening at all. If that helps. If I were him, I'd consider rerolling that. He's only got two, though. Sorry, I just read up on chat. <laughs> okay, well, he's having a, a meh turn of his own. I mean, not as meh as skull into skull into death, but, you know. Yeah, can't last. Done. He piles on. Just like what she does. And gets rewarded with a cast. Well, at least he's safe. Yeah. Probably game at this point. 
I mean, two warriors and uh, my claw bone. Uh, and this is my receiving half. That's just all kinds of bad. All kinds of bad. At least he doesn't have jump up, I guess. Yep. Running vampire, one van. Uh, I would take the leader. One vamp. Oof. Okay, that's good. That's a turnover. It makes my life a little bit easier. This guy is not the stand firm. So what we can do is we can get in here. Lock this. Oh, that is the stand firm. Oh, well, he's dead anyway. I, I was looking for the stand on the chain. And forgot about the stand. Uh, before that, so four, five, six. Is that worth the sacrifice? Yeah. Gotta push a little bit now. Gotta push a little bit now. Okay, that helps. That helps a bunch. Those are some nice removals. Uh, there goes the foul target, which I should not complain about. This one does not have jump up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unassisted foul there. No, we have a bribe. He does have armor seven. This one. Well, <laughs> at least the ball is going in the right direction, if nothing else. But yeah, that foul, that foul was a make or break kind of moment, wasn't it? That was a good turn though. That was a good turn. I mean, that's, that's two good players. Gives me some breathing room. And the, moving the ball is also kind of nice. But yeah, a removal there would have made all the difference for this uh, drive. And a lot of difference for the game too, really. Because this is scary. This is scary. Mm, we're not exactly safe yet. And there's a lot of turns to go, even if we were. Were these both stunned? Oh, I guess they must have been. Either that or I was dumb and just forgot about them. Because I could have dodged this out, would have been a good idea. Yep. There goes steer car. Sacrificed himself with that blitz, getting stuck via stand firm. No, ah, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Only needs one assist to get two dice here. Would have expected him to use this guy. 
Because that one would have been more useful, like here. And no blitz there? Okay, is he blitzing the ball? That, that's actually probably good news for me. Hmm. Is this... Oh, this guy can blitz the ball. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we'll see. Good. Last re Oh, no, not last reroll. He's down to his last reroll. We do go down with the ball. That's why I picked this square so it wouldn't go out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's a GFI to get there. <sighs> Can't really get at anything, though. Like anything here. Sent off. Hmm. Yeah. So I think we need this to be our blitz. Not like that. No. Yeah, I might want that reroll this. Okay, well, that's something for now. This is still a big problem. So is that really? Good. Good. This we can just get up, I suppose, at this point. Uh, same thing goes for that. I guess I want to keep that guy busy too. Well, that was a lot to ask. To ask for. So, no more rerolls. Four more turns. Yeah, I was receiving, and after two turns, I'd lost these three guys. He got a blitz, and I had a turn of no punches. After that, I did have a good turn and got two removals. I think this one was even without Mighty Blow. So yeah, sacrifice the dirty player to not have the tackler there. Which may have been unwise. He's still okay, though. Good. You don't reroll that. Not with your last one. I'm glad he doesn't have Frenzy. My Frenzy is uh, MNG'd. sense. That makes a lot of sense because this was a blitz he does not want to give me.
I'll do my best, astronomers. Why that guy? I mean, this guy's free. It doesn't make that much sense to me. What? What? Okay. I mean, I guess he has this one, so he doesn't have to make sure that Tackle can get freed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's scary. With no reroll. Good. Because I have dodge and no sure feet. That was bad. That was very, very bad of me. Yeah. I, um... I messed up. I should not have made this block. Keeping him tied up was better, because he's the only one who could surf, realistically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that was, that was all on me. I mean, <clears throat> he can still make it, but uh, it was harder for him before I made that block. Then again, he could still make it before I made that block, and on a both down, or a pow, or a, a pow push, it would have been pretty much impossible. Yeah, maybe it was the right call. match, especially with the Apo gone so early in a Chaos Mirror. Now, so far, the dice have been shite. I seem to be squeezing through-ish, but, uh... Oh, he's gonna three-die that guy. Okay. That's better for me. He didn't... The both downs actually also okay, but he wants him moved, of course. Now, if he piles on here, he doesn't have tackle on me. Does it anyway? I think that's a mistake. Also costs him this square. Makes it way harder to get him... I think that piling on may have just cost him the drive. 
he could have had me fairly stuck with this guy there and tackle on me and me with no reroll. I would have been stuck with a one die blitz here. I think that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, I would have I would have gone for the surf on the ball, especially after I freed up his dirty player for no good reason. Yeah. Okay, well, that may have saved me. Can't get two dice there because this is my only guard. And I can't get on there. <sighs> That's a pity. Four. Four. Could get that one. Yeah. If I had another guard in here, I would be all over this and the file, probably. Yeah, if I could target one of these guys, I'd claw them and foul them. But for this guy, I don't think it's worth the risk of the double skull. stays out, mine comes back, that's nice, rookie killer, might as well put them together, he's got movement six, two, four, six, eight, Yeah, I scored. No, we're not winning. But we're quite a bit further from losing than we were a moment ago. Actually, let's put these guys in the middle because then they can respond. A draw seems pretty likely. <laughs> Thanks, Kadash. <laughs> oh yeah, that was for your catcher skilling and not dying. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I'd rather have them closer together because then I have more flexibility on which flank to respond to. I like this as well. <laughs> I like that, uh, Curtain Mike. <clears throat> yeah, it, it looks really weird, but if you think about it, he can't blitz any of these. And uh, this lets me go here on defense or here on defense with pretty much the entire squad. I guess I could have even had the warriors in the middle. <laughs> They're like, guys... Guys! <laughs> the thing is... Uh, oh, he's got three turns. I thought he had two. Oh, this is less... Less good against three turns. My bad. My bad. This is like that scene where they say, All right, volunteers, take a step forward. And all of these take a bunch of steps back. Oh, hell no. Hell no. I mean, this is this is standard black box play, and it has been before Jimmy or I started streaming. Okay, that reroll is more valuable for me, but also kind of bad news because it makes his chance of skilling higher. Okay. 30 player getting piled on here. No break means... Oh, snakes into snakes! That would have made a better... Uh, <clears throat> better block dice. <laughs> wow. Because the block dice were... A one and a two, technically. <laughs> nah, I should have had this guy forward, because he could blitz. Then again, the less he comes forward. Mm. Oh yeah, he still got his blitz, of course. If I had to guess, I'd say he fouls my dirty player, simply because I have a bribe. might even consider not blitzing this turn. <laughs> Maybe I'll blitz that. Well, one anti assist now. Yeah, the push would have been better. So, his furthest forward claw is this one two, four, five, six, seven.
If we blitz this... Chances are we're causing a turnover. So let's foul first. One anti-assist against armor 7. <laughs> the the both down oh and it kills him too and the both down versus the push made the difference wow rata rata you are stepping into positron mike's shoes No, no MVP for the dirty player, please. <laughs> and just like that, Big A pops out and says, screw you guys. Whew. That was kind of nice. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> like this many players around him and he just... <laughs> oh, that was filthy. Could someone clip that? Because that was... Man. Ah, and if he had taken the push, this guy would have anti-assisted. I would have needed dirty player on the armor, and the injury would have been a KO. It was that close. Thank you, Dimmy G. <clears throat> Let's also post that in the spoilers. Quite possibly, Kiniwa. Ah, oh, you already posted it there. Thank you. Lovely. It's usually the stuff followed by me laughing hysterically. Well, it looks like he's not fouling. straight down the middle, I guess. Doesn't really matter much. Let's see, I have two, four, six, seven players. So that would be two here, one here. Two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that was not the plan. Because that makes this a very, very viable blitz target. been okay with the push there really because I wanted this guy in front of him that makes it a one die Where's the strength? Back there. Yeah, I guess. Still not great, but uh, <laughs> it's not really much of a defense. <clears throat> but with his killer out, the second half looks more possible. No, I think I, I hunted the same player down last season. Maybe I'm even responsible for that minus armor. I don't know. Hey there, Hargrim. How it goes? Well, you see this club on legend? I mean, all he needs is a push, really. But that does mean that he's using his carrier instead of his killer to get there. And the both down still stops him. Gets the pound. That's a bit sad. Because this is a blodger. But, you know, Claw Mighty Blood would have gotten that. Okay, chance of the sneak, I guess. So, we need to put in some work second half, and we need to kick, but he doesn't have his piling on, we still have our bribe. Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. This could work. The scale sadly comes back. Mine was already back, so it's 10 on 10, I think. Uh, yeah, that makes 10 on 10. Oh, real point. 
point in that. I really don't feel like it. Let's see, how many claw does he have? Three. So if he uses those on... Who to put on this corner? Something like that, then. I think I may have misunderstood his point. So his claw is on the warriors and not on the beastmen, which makes him less likely to want to blitz with them, in principle. Um, so having the armor here on the corners does make some sense. If you're going to blitz, you'd rather not blitz this guy, because in case of a both down, you wind up not moving, <clears throat> which sucks. Well, not everyone, but um, Liger died. It got better. Uh, and Shagnogor died and did not get better. The doctor was like, oh, sorry, his head? No, let's take his heart instead. High kick. Quite. That would have been nice on, say, turn six. No, not the high part, but the deep part. So, judging from his setup, he's not blitzing with Claw, which is nice for my warriors. Less so for, say, Rata. Three dies it straight up. He's okay. He's good to foul on turn ten or so, if he doesn't get fouled himself. <coughs> That's only a two die. Still good. Cube farmer is not so okay. Minus armor on a rookie, and we already had a minus agility on a warrior. Can still do his job, right? Oh, that's actually not a claw. He went for the straight, not the diagonal. Which... You know, that does mean that this is probably the blitz we're getting. So let's hope it's like a both down and a push or something. Because then he's stuck there. And we can murderize him. It's a bit of a brave pick, of course. Sadly, that's not what we get. No, I think I'll be less fallible where he pushes me. I'll be less fallible in the KO box, sure. All right, safe. But yeah, that leaves me with six players this turn. 
because that's four out of four armor breaks, including two removals. <sighs> that's the kind of kickoff turn I would have liked to have instead of a blitz. Yep. Yeah. I think he's winning. This this turn makes it really likely. What am I supposed to do with this? Six players. That's actually a t-shirt that I bought calf on um, Snork Tees. Oh, that wasn't meant as flame. Not at all. It was like, well, you've had your hardships too. Well done. Takes the push, but pushes him there. I can even make it a three die now. That's not the strength five, so he'll need another. <laughs> That's good, Dio. That's really good. I mean, we do still have these two guys. They can save a game by themselves. Yep, three die gets it. Fair enough. Sad. He was almost skilled. Yeah. It's a pity. That leaves me with... Three killers, two next game. And not counting Stygian. surprised he's not taking the fouls but I guess he wants to use the dirty player to to make me not pile on
Oh. Yep, piling on right next to the dirty player with the apple already used. A uh, bit of column A, bit of column B. Two and two. Why did I... Did I go into his tackle zone? Yeah, I had to because I jumped there. All right. <clears throat> Game on, I guess. Uh, yeah, agreed, Dimmy. I mean, not always. Not always. There have been games where I underbashed and out agility, which was fun. Yeah, I would be very surprised if he doesn't target the hell out of Grimobor now. I mean, these three players are kind of scary to his team, but this player is scary to his win. If he if he gets a KO on Grimobor, he's won. I mean, I, I probably prefer fouling Gornak. He's also forming a cage next to a jump up guy. That's interesting. So he's probably fouling Gornak. Yeah, it's a pity that the double happened after the two heads, because otherwise this would have been very long legs. Yeah, this one's also a Jillian and a double. Absolutely. Push. Good. So, uh, steer car is dead. A 49 SPP. Uh, Corvain is minus agility. Uh, and more importantly, Shagnagor, his legend, is dead. It was a foul. Of course, because that's the only way the slaughterers ever kill anything. I would have rerolled that because he's not safe unless this guy gets, you know, uh, both down against him.
Here comes the boot on Gornak. Snakes, please. No. But a stun and a removal is not half bad. Block, block, block. Can't really get on there to make this a two die. Should be a three. Nope. A two into a one, and he's down. Yeah, he got off very lucky there. That's game. He can just keep running now. That was the one turn where I had a good shot at him. I needed him forward to put pressure on the back. And. Hi, Libriel. And I needed this hit to have a chance being this outnumbered. Yeah. I guess since Falcon wasn't realistically going to retrieve, not with sidestep, I could have moved Falcon here. That would have been would have probably been a better idea. Then again, we do have to jump up and he did get sent off. Nah, uh, he can't advance quite that far while being safe. You also want to get good hits in. Probably block this and let's that or something. It's been um it's been a game. No, nope, not going for that. Gets the double pow. Goat lives, that's really nice. He's got cage all lined up here, of course. Could still foul. Probably consider that. Then again, with whom from where? And you can take this corner with the guard. Yeah. Oh, aggressive. I'm not sure how I feel about that. help him a bunch. Yeah, my guards kind of evaporated. We're not even able to get a one die on the ball. Four. Yeah. 
Oh, that wasn't needed, was it? No, because this is strength three. Uh, this is strength three. I mean, oh, okay, that's nice. So either we use this jump up, which means we get that one, and then we can blitz out there. Or we just blitz this. Yeah, it makes more sense. sound. So, I, we have equal numbers now, seven and seven, but he's got all the mobility he needs. I just didn't have a way to get in front of him. And not enough time to make him score early. Oops. There. Back in his place. So, yeah. He's won. But we already kind of knew that. If I make him score next turn, I'll have three turns. I have one shot at a KO, so does he... I mean, I do have agility. I have two rerolls left. No, could work. Could work. I can see this become a draw. He doesn't have any tackle, so Falcon can actually hang out out front a little bit. Those two players would not stop him either. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You're not going to get safe. What do you think? All you're getting is blitz somewhere else, dude. That's his. Okay. Did 
GFI. And then here comes the Blitz. Here comes the Death. to do it then. One assist, three player. Pride. Nope! He survived Claw, Mighty Blow, Piling On, and Dirty Player in one turn. There should be an achievement for that. Oh well. Still a bunch of pressure on him. Wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, maybe. I figured the chance at uh, pressure was more valuable than the chance at the sack. Because there were a lot of dice there. Retrieval did not look pretty. And right now he knows he can't get safe. I, I felt like if I tried that and didn't get him down, he would be able to stall. If I tried that and I did get him down, he would still be more likely to score than I am. Whereas now, he can apparently still stall, but it's dangerous as fuck. I, I would not have stalled here. My point was to make him not stall. Instead, this this is... This has potential, let's just call it that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he blitz, he's planning on blitzing the... Uh, the agility guy here. Which makes it a lot better. He's gonna take the wrestle. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't reach him. Yeah. That that helps him. And that's filthy. Because my jump up guy could have still gotten that. Yeah, no, sadly, um, <clears throat> sadly, that wrestle puts him out of range. at the expense of our dirty player, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah.
two rerolls? Yeah, sure. Bribe used works. Okay. So two turns to score. Sadly didn't get the damage out of this turn that I would have liked. Probably did get the pressure, I would say. Yeah, no. I wouldn't say it gives me the draw. No, I think he's just blitzing for damage and then running it in. Which is fair enough. I would have done the same. I'm not getting the damage, that's good. Okay, well, let's see. One KO each. Two turns for me to get the draw. His stays out. Mine also stays out. Well, that's fair. Seven versus seven. Yeah, he was not stalling that. I think he was being very risky to stall it the turn before that. Riot now would be scary, actually. Oh, good point. Thanks, Chester. Glad someone's paying attention. So, we kill the three on the line. We form a sideline cage. And we get the ball. That's exactly the number of players we need. Yep, yeah, both. Rerolls is definitely good news for me. Really, really, really bad kick for us, though. Okay.
Okay, he can't blitz here, really. If he does, I'm scoring. So this is actually the most sensible spot for him. Can't even pass it this turn, of course. Because <laughs> this is a long bomb. Two, four, six. Yeah. That kick hurt. That kick really, really, really hurt. Could have actually sent him there. That might have been the better play. Yeah, I should have done that. Blitzed him here and then ran off there. So now he's in. The, yeah, we'll see. This is still the uh, the most appealing play. I I would prefer pitch enhancements over stadium enhancements, simply because you don't look at that. You don't look at that either. You look at this, right? Oh, I managed to get the right player blitzed, so there's that. That stun is unfortunate, because he's in the way. Could have put this guy here, maybe. Then he couldn't have gone in there. I have a few level 4 stadiums. So we go here, 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 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could even go from there. No, because the push here is enough. That's three, three. Two, two. That's a three. So that's better. Russell is good enough. Is that interceptable? I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure that's not interceptable. Can't be arsed to look it up. Pretty sure this would be interceptable. So let's go here. Ah, oh, 
failed the four plus. Well, if I'd done it with the one GFI option, he would have intercepted because there was a six after it. Good game. MVP went to Rata. I'm not saying he didn't earn it, but it's sad. And he got a new legend on his carrier. Oh well. Oh well. So I don't think we have a skill. We've lost two important players. One is coming back with an injury. And we were already on 11. Whew. We get our surfer back. Uh, so we're on nine. No point hiring this point, because I wouldn't get more. Cube farmers fired. Yeah, I mean, I could hire two beastmen, and I'd still have 11 players. Might as well get mercenaries then. Oh, uh, journeymen then. Whew. Rough match. Rough match. But I have a nice... Uh, Nice skull for the trophy cabinet, I suppose. So that's uh, that, that's not awful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.